Hey, what is up guys? It is Harrison Barron, the Millennial Entrepreneur. Now, if you're a business owner or you're in sales and you're looking to make more money, LinkedIn is a great alternative. I've talked a lot about LinkedIn on this channel, but I want to teach you guys the easiest way to make your first five new connections. So you've probably already been on the platform for a good bit of time, but are you building the connections you want? I'm going to teach you guys a couple different ways that I use to get in front of my ideal connections, right? Going to find them online. This is totally free, by the way. I'm also going to show you guys how to find other people that might be able to be your referral sources. So this might be somebody you went to college with, somebody you worked with in the past, or ultimately just a potential prospect floating around online. And last but not least, I'm going to teach you guys how to find somebody through a hashtag. Now you might be thinking this is really, really simple. Well, it's not that simple and there is a strategy behind it. And I want to share that with you guys today. So without any further ado, we're going to hop over to my computer. I'm going to teach you guys all these things. And then at the end of this, I encourage you to go make at least five new connections. I want to see two or three connections of people that you know who might not be able to grow your business, but might be alliances and then potentially two or three other people that can help you grow your business because you're going to be able to do business with them directly. So either way, let's jump over to my computer and I can't wait to help you guys out. Alrighty guys, so right here we have my LinkedIn. This is right when you log in and I'm going to teach you guys a couple ways that I use to go find my ideal clients and not even so much clients, but people I really want to connect with. So those could be evangelists. Those could be, you know, those people that are going to help promote your business. Those could be people that you might want to do business with. And ultimately those could also be people that might not be ready to do business with you today, but could be ready to do business with you tomorrow or down the road. Right, because not everybody's ready to buy today, but they could be ready to buy down the road. So, first thing I'm going to do is go to my network, and as you guys can see, literally just in the last couple of days, LinkedIn has already redone their entire look of this whole thing. This used to be gray. You guys can go look at plenty of my other videos where you guys could see the old setup, but this is a totally new setup. Right, you have my connections, my contacts, my teammates, people I follow, right, groups that I'm a part of. I am in a lot of groups. I have a lot of con contacts that I help manage their LinkedIn's for events, pages, and all that kind of stuff, right? But this is where the beautiful part is going to come. So if you scroll down, you can see, for example, I went to Farmingdale State College. This is going to be a great resource to find other people I went to Farmingdale State College with. Now, I might not have actually been in class with any of these people, but there is a ton of people that I may very well know or could potentially work with. So just spend some time looking at what they're going to school for or what they're currently doing. You know, programmer, uh, analyst at MAGAD, um, sales associate at DSW, designer shoes, right? But looking for your ideal person. So it could be somebody involved in whatever industry you're going after, right? We have associate banker at Chase. We have assistant manager of, at Justice. And you're ultimately going to spend some time going through here and finding those people that you want to connect with. There are a variety of different people. So for me, I personally like dealing with people in the business area, right? Alexa, she has a thing open a network, right? So I'm going to connect with her for the sake of this, but you can spend some time going through here and looking and finding the people that you want to connect with. So I'm just going to connect with her super easy. I can just click that connect button and she'll get a notification. Then she'll accept me down the road when she hops back on again. But computer program, right? Tyler, perfect. He could be potentially somebody I want to do business with because he might not be ready to start today, but he might be in his career or looking to go into a career where it might be beneficial for me to be connected with him already, right? Because nobody's going to remember how you connected with them. They're just going to look for how, you know, or what connections you already have. And if you're already an established connection, so this is one way, this is just for college, but if you keep going down, right, people you may know in similar roles, right? I know Peter Schleichhorn, right? So he's a great potential person to see my content on a regular basis. So I could immediately contact, connect with him, not contact him. I will contact him, but for right now, we're going to connect with him, right? My friend Arker is a huge referral source for me. He gives me a ton of businesses, constantly putting me in front of new people. And by connecting with him is just another way to solidify that relationship and have people see it. Now, this is easily number one, my favorite way of going to find people, right? You have a senior vice president of marketing at Rhinebeck. This could be somebody, you know, maybe that I want to connect with. Who knows? Maybe they'll find content that I, fi that I make that they find useful and maybe want to partner up on something. So that's number one. Number two is going to be hashtags. So if you're looking to connect with somebody, right? I'm looking to connect with somebody in the MSP space. So I'm just going to do hashtag MSP. And this is a great area to go find people who I want to connect with in the MSP space. Now, 
right? Joe Pannoni, CEO and founder of Forza BI Business Intelligence for managed services uh, using ConnectWise. So this is perfect. This might be somebody that I want to connect with, and I'm going to go look at his profile now. I can see Joe, right? MSP, MSPs, MSSP, um, MSP channel. These are all different things. These are all dead giveaways that this is probably somebody that I want to speak to at some point down the road. So I'm going to go to more and I'm going to, oh, I'm already connected with them. Perfect. I can go looking for any additional people, right? Executive sales leader, eh, potentially. We have this guy again. What a crazy week. Chief Executive Officer at Zoro, Zorus, Zorus. All right, so let's check him out. I don't know who he is. And right there, you can see it's a second connection. So let's see what he does here. Chief Executive Officer at Zoros. Now, there's not enough information here to figure out what Zoros is, but I do know Datto. I do know, I don't know collective intelligence, but I do know Datto. So we're just going to look it up, Z-O-R-U-S. Cybersecurity for SMBs exclusively through the channel. Okay, so it's probably not somebody I'm really interested in connecting with. Chances are pretty good if he's going through the channel. And if you don't know what a channel is, it's just a way that they process things. It might not be the best person for me to connect with. But this is a great example, right? This guy, Steve, he's a CEO and Tiva Inc. helping companies grow with technology, right? He mentions right here, and there's a huge thing that says manage IT and security cloud service, which is perfect. That is somebody that I absolutely want to connect with. And now I can connect with him, and it's going to send him a personalized note. Hey, Steve, I would love to connect. Perfect. So a nice, easy message. That's it. I'm going to send that. And now down the road, he may or may not connect with me. So that's two ways, right? Just using a hashtag is simply one of the best ways to go find who you want to connect with. It is literally the most simple way as well, because there's so many different hashtags that you could possibly use. And number three is finding people you want to connect with in groups. So I happen to be in a ton of groups, but let's just go to social media. And typically, there's going to be a bunch of groups in here. Let me filter out groups. And you're going to be able to see social media marketing group by connect365.io, digital marketing, social media, search, mobile, and more, right? Social media, perfect, 5,000 members. And I believe that this is a group I'm already a part of. I am not. So I'm going to request to join. And in here, I'm going to be able to see, I'm going to use a different group just for now, just so you guys can see. Um, but we'll use this one, social media, social selling, Facebook, YouTube. Twitter, Innovators, Social Media, Facebook, right? This is a perfect group for me to be in. And as you can see, it has 14,000 members. Now, if you go over to the See All area, you'll be able to see every single person that's in this group. And the beautiful part is you can message all of them in here. So if I wanted to find Social Media, Growth and Social Media Manager, FinTech, Blockchain, Crypto, social media expert, Facebook, Instagram ads, expert consultant trainer, right? This might be somebody that I want to connect with. And then we have social media, digital selling, right? This is somebody else I may want to connect with down the road. So these are great people and great potential ways for me to go find somebody that I want to go do business with or potentially can partner up with. Now, they have gotten rid of a good amount of searching through here just recently where you used to be able to filter all through your groups. But this is great. I have 14,000 people to go through to find out if they are people that I want to do business with. So I definitely recommend checking it out in groups and seeing who's active. Check to see who's active, right? Do you need quality products? Um, why might you be uh, want an alternative to Google Ads, right? These are all really good places because it shows that they're active for me to go find who I want to talk to, right? Senior travel consultant at ATPI. Senior travel consultant, senior travel consultant. He definitely uses this quite a bit. Um, web and design and graphic design, Photoshop, uh, SEO expert, digital marketing, right? Perfect. He might be somebody I want to connect with because my company, Baron Media Group, might want to do business with him as a way to sell SEO services. Just because somebody has the word SEO expert doesn't mean they're actually really good at SEO. But this is just one phenomenal way to get people in, to find people, to connect with people that you either can do business with right away or can form a strategic alliance. I hope this video helps. I'll see you guys on the next part. 
Alrighty guys, I hope that was valuable. I know it sounds a little strange, but once you start to do it on a regular basis, you are going to grow your business at an exponential rate. I'm telling you this because this is something that I do all the time. Now I produce a good amount of content on LinkedIn, but what I'm finding out works really, really well is what goes on in the DMs and what goes on with connecting with those people and sending them a couple messages saying, hey, how are you, this and that and the other thing, right? So. Definitely try these things. I, I can almost guarantee, I can't obviously guarantee because you have to go do it, but I can almost guarantee you're probably gonna get a new client if you do this on a weekly basis within a month. And that's gonna be a high ticket client because that's what LinkedIn is great for. High ticket clients in the B2B space is where you can thrive on LinkedIn. So I hope this video helps. Leave a comment down below if this is something that you plan on doing. And if it is, let me know your results. I'm really excited to hear them. I hope you guys keep crushing your sales. Like this video, subscribe down below, and hit the little notification bell so you never miss an opportunity to make more money for you and your sales team. I'll see you guys later.